Don't You're... take that strap off. Nah, just keep going. Oh, maybe I should get on it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our brand new build. This right here is our 2019 Kawasaki STX 15F jet ski we picked up from the insurance auction. I forgot to shoot an intro there at the location. The guy in the yard was kind of being a jerk and didn't want us filming anything, but I did get a few clips. Before we get into all the damages, let's go ahead and roll the footage from yesterday. Cashier. This time. So we just made it here to Kentucky. Here's the new trailer we had to go pick up. So now you guys know what it is. We got a 2019. Kawasaki jet ski. Yes, sir. Ooh, man. Oh, yeah, man. I'm excited. Me Let's too, see man. What this thing's about. Good morning, Kentucky. So five hours later and we have made it here. One, two, three, four wheel drive. I could see where they get the name from. You definitely need a four wheel drive up here. <laughs> Dang, they got a pretty big office. You guys just go ahead and park it right here, like long ways, like turn it around. We're probably gonna pull inside to go look at it because I do not want them to fork it or cause any more damage than it what it has. Let's see if we can spot it out. They got two entrances. All right, so let's go inside and we'll be ready to load it up. And like I said, we're probably going to drive the truck in the yard. Make sure you lock it up. I got my computer in there. It's a pretty good sized yard. Oh, check that out. You see that yellow ski boat? Yeah, I'd say it should be in this area right over here. But I don't see it. Oh, check out that Mustang. You want to go look at that Mustang? No, nah, that's not a 5.0, is it? Nope, unless somebody debadged it. Maybe we should go walk around for them. Yeah, we, gotta, we just got to get some vest. All right, let's get inside here. We just got all the paperwork taken care of. Now we're going to go ahead and check the jet ski out. We got cars being dropped off. Check these things out, guys. Nothing major under there. Fixing to get in, pulling around the gate. 
They don't want us filming in here. Ooh. Man, he's rough with it. Tip this side, tip this side over. Danny there giving him a little hand. We didn't really want to lift it, but it's pretty heavy, so we couldn't really manhandle it, so. We really want to fork it, but it's a lot heavier than we thought. The underneath, man, it's looking pristine. Just a couple of scratches, nothing to worry about. This thing is looking pristine. 2019, boys. Hold on, let me hook up the strap. Hopefully this right here is gonna work. You know what I mean? There you go, yeah. Hold on. Is it gonna there work? There go. Kinda hold it like that so it's coming. Got it. That's good. Make sure it locks though. Did a fine job there. I think we got a score on this trailer. It's holding it up. Oh yeah, man. Tires do look a little flat. We may need to air those up. What's up? Um, we can lift them down, probably. We can lift some of them. We just can't lift the whole thing. Oh, my bad. Sorry. I think I just need to pull it off. From in right here. All right, guys. So we got the jet ski all loaded up. And it looks like that right there is going to fit. We got some straps right here that we're throwing in. Does it have any hooks? Yep. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I think we just... locked and loaded, boys. I think we just need some air in the tires. But check this out, guys. They got a Maverick, a Razor, and other Maverick. We're fixing to go check them out. And a Spark right over there. We're definitely going to keep an eye out on these machines right over here. Check out the spark right here. It's got a 2019 registration. It's got some sick handlebars and a sick seat. That all looks aftermarket. This thing's decked out. But check out this KM, guys. This is what we need to do with our roll cage. Dang, this thing is sick. Look at these upgraded control arms. Here's the Razor. Let's see what year this one is. Oh, it's an older one. Still not bad. Got a nice roll cage. Got some snorkels back here. Dang, I wonder if these right here are upgraded. I'd say so. These look a lot bulkier than mine. Dang, check out this Maverick though. This frame is crazy. Look at these control arms. Oh my goodness, dude, this thing's a boss. Check out these shocks. I wonder if these are upgraded. I really like the roll cage and how wide this thing sits. This is a 2018. See, I mean, just compare the stock suspension. The frame still looks really nice. These are the super ATV control arms. Just look at that, comparing the two. This one right here has way more beef. 
Yeah, I guess these shocks are all stock on the Canims, but that is pretty sick. I'm definitely gonna keep an eye out. This jet ski's kind of decked out. Got this. There it is, 2018. When was it checked in? Oh, not too long ago. So I guess this thing was rolled over. I don't really see that much damage on it. Let me hop in to see if they got the keys. This one right here, both of these are running the upgraded control arms in the front. Here's a 1000. This one right here looks so weak with these stock tires. That just shows what wheels and tires can do on a vehicle. Well, let's go ahead and see if these got the keys. I'm going to start them up, see if I can check the mileage, and we're going to keep an eye out. What's up guys, next day here and we made it back safe and sound. It was a little risky buying this jet ski sight unseen because I didn't really know what the undercarriage would look like and how rough they were there in the auction yard. But let's go ahead and do a walk around and check out all the damages. So the jet ski was listed as front end collision, which makes sense from right over here we got a crack and it doesn't go past the little trim molding right over there. So that's pretty awesome. And it was also listed as a water damage and as a no start. But we got this thing fired up after we got the garden hose on it and it runs fine. It's got some low miles. The 10 hour trip turned into like a 15 with the weather and traffic. But check this out, the rain cleaned it up really nice. It was kind of a bit risky with this trailer. We just bought it a day ago, right before we bought the jet ski. We only paid $200 for it, but it made it back safe and sound. We are gonna be rebuilding or restoring this trailer. We got some new wheels on order, changing out the bearings and repainting it. Let us know if we should go with the lime green or the black finish. But Check yeah, this, this out, man. This is probably what you're gonna be using right here. No, nah, that's your key. <laughs> let's, so, let's show them the engine in this thing. We did get this thing to start after we got a garden hose on it. Let's go ahead and check out this engine. This motor here is spotless, boys. We got our fire extinguisher right in here. Dang, check that out, son, man. It's spotless in here. This is pretty much a brand new engine. It only has, what, like 300 miles? That's not it too It has bad. 289 miles with only 21 hours. So when they were riding it, they were probably just going fast. But this engine does not have that many hours, you know? Only 21. Is that a lot? But anyways, right now we're just going to go ahead and take this out to the lake. We've been super excited. The weather's not right, but we're just going to go test it out real quick. There's no major damage on the undercarriage. We just have a few scratches, but there's no holes or anything like that. Check that out. And this is probably from the auction, man. They were a little bit rough with it. I was kind of getting onto them for that. This right here is pretty much the biggest damage here, and this is, has no effect to, to driving the jet ski, honestly. I know. mean, I wouldn't do any kind of jumping or anything, but we could go take it out, take it nice and easy, because that crack stops right over there where this molding is. And that right there is all nice and reinforced. Let's go ahead and hook this up to the truck and take it out for a quick spin. Let's do it, man. And what I like about it is it's super light, man. You could just roll it right around in the garage, swing it wherever you need it to. But we are gonna be doing a complete detail on this thing. The rain actually did a pretty good job cleaning it up. And there was like, there was a bunch of water right here where the feet rest are. I guess that's where they got the water damage from. There was like a bunch of algae and both sides were filled up with water. But inside the engine compartment and the front storage, there's not a drop of water. Let's go ahead and show them real quick. Honestly, we need to throw some life vests in here before we go. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to get some life jackets from the boat. I think we got two. Um, but yeah, this water right here is from the garden hose. So that's where we hooked it up and made sure that the motor runs fine. And on top of that, we got a full tank of gas. What, man, I'm about to be ripping on there. We're gonna take it a little bit easy, but man, I'm super excited for this. We got all winter to redo the trailer and fix all that. But for now, let's go ahead and take it out on the lake and enjoy the day. All right, guys, so we just made it out to the marina here in Chickamauga. And it's not the best weather out here, but hopefully the rain can hold up. 
We're gonna go ahead and give it a little test run. The water looks calm out there. Ooh, it's kind of windy out here. Man, man, it is windy. Hopefully it won't be too cold out there or too rough, but we're gonna see what this jet ski's about. Look, you didn't even tighten that up. Oh man, they did get a little loose. Ooh, pretty chilly, man. Socks off. Let's get it in the water. You're good. Well, You're take that strap off. Nah, just keep going. Oh, maybe I should get on it. Yeah, go ahead and hop on it. I'm gonna unstrap you and we'll see what it's about. The water's cold. I don't think I'm gonna take my shirt off. Go ahead, hop on her. Hey, check that out. Those lights are actually still working, so they must be waterproof. But we're gonna get some better LED ones. Man, there ain't nobody out here on the lake. Maybe they're just hiding. should I get the yellow or the green one go ahead and start off with that yellow one the slow one I think you need to go further probably got to go a little more yeah Woo wee she ain't sunk yet is she Man, that thing looks pristine in the water. Brand new 2019. Check him out, he already got his life vest on. The way to go, safety first, guys. Let's see if I got my docking skills. Oh shoot, we even forgot to take the sticker off, boys. There you go. Randy close. Bottles are Woo, we are out here, boys. I only got one bar on the camera, so we'll see what we got. No, 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 get me closer to the dock. We didn't really get any kind of rope to dock this. Oh, and the keys. Oh, that's why it was going slow, dude. I was like, what the heck? I got the yellow key in it. All right, hop on. You on? Hopefully I don't sink it. Maybe we should check to see if we got any water. It looks dry up here. Don't go too fast now. Uh, this is a no wake zone. I can't make any kind of wake. Why is it sinking so much? Because I'm on the back of it. this probably first time we out here boys don't go too fast I'm holding on to here
gold key right there, so what are you trying to do? You I'm gonna put, to, I'll, I'll put the green key in right you now. You trying to go for a rip? Yeah. Done. By yourself or with me? So. All right, so Bubba's gonna give it a rip on the green key. Dang, I wish we had a drone or something out here because you're not going to really see much, but I guarantee you he's going to be doing some jumps. The water is nice and calm. This is a really good time to check out the jet ski. If it was a little warmer, I'd probably take a dip in the water, but we're probably not going to do that. Man, he is having some fun on that thing. Let me hop on that thing, give it a rip. You don't got any rope? Man, that thing is pretty quick. I gotta say, the 160 horsepower really does show. What I like about it is once you smash on that throttle, it just wants to go. Dock her up. Go ahead and load her up. Yeah, it is starting to rain on us. So we had our fun and we're heading out. We'll catch you guys back at the house. Beautiful. Is that thing tight? Tight. Give it, give it a little gas. Is it lining up? A little more. Got the ski all loaded up. Take it easy, mate. We only got one strap on it. It is a little difficult. We have to replace a few things on this trailer, which we're going to be taking care of later on, especially this little thing right here, the cushion in the front. But we got it all centered up. This jet ski just amazed me, man. It performed just like I wanted to. Check this out right here. We got water in this tail light, so these are not waterproof. We're going to be getting some nice LED waterproof lights on it. But I think we lined it up pretty good. Oh, man, we just got out of I know, it's starting to come down, but hey, I went all the way down to that mountain, and there are a few yachts out there. They're just having a good time. 
get it all strapped in and let's head back to the house what are your first impressions on it man i love it man this thing is sick i know you can like top it out the fastest i went was 65. i, I, I hit about 60 on it i hit 65 on it and you can handle this thing so easily I drove a few of the Sea Dew supercharged ones, and those are just like a street bike on water. They're way too dangerous. I know, it like kicks you back. But yeah, we'll definitely have a lot of fun next summer on it. We're gonna get all this fixed up, but I love it so far. I think we got a still on it. Did you see this water in this tail light? It's probably not going to be working anymore. Hopefully we don't get pulled over. It looks like it's on there just like it should be. Let's see if we got any water in the ski. I'll go ahead and take that drink plug out. I mean, I went underwater a few times. Empty. Yeah, there's no water in there. There's a pump. But I did get the nose underwater a few times. I hit a few waves and then I let go of the throttle and this right here had like water all over it. But I checked the front compartment and that's all dry. So the pump is doing great. Or we put a few few miles on it. Then I didn't even see this damage right here. Move that strap. That's not bad though. I didn't see it though earlier. Let's go ahead and tie this up and head back to the house. All right, guys, that's a wrap for this episode. The jet ski performance exceeded all my expectations. I'm super excited to have this thing all patched up and ready to go for next summer so we can enjoy in some sunny weather. If you're just as excited for the new build, be sure to drop a like. As some of you know from Instagram, I did get in a pretty bad car accident with my cousins just a couple of days ago. I'm healing up fine and I thank the Lord so much for keeping us safe and alive so we can enjoy this beautiful life. But unfortunately, they're still in the hospital, so all the prayer and support will be much appreciated. With all that being said, thank you guys for all the love and support. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on your post notifications to be the first to watch my videos. Follow us on Instagram at danny.tv. The link will be in the description. Let me know your thoughts and suggestions down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.